Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. And I'm Tristan and today we're going to be watching Scream. So I know going into this movie what the villain looks like. Like I know what the mask looks like. It's a very iconic thing. I think that he goes after teenagers, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But otherwise I don't really have too many expectations or really know what we're looking forward to here. Yeah, I just know the face, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think um, also Courtney Cox is in this. That's the only thing oh, I Oh yeah, I think maybe you're right. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really know what the premise is, but I know that this is a classic slasher. It's a lot more recent than a lot of the other ones that we've been doing for the channel for Spooky Season. What year is this, do you know? 1996. Okay, so this is way more recent. Yeah, still pretty old at this point, but a lot more recent than the other ones that we've been going through, like Halloween, Friday the 13th, yeah. the Nightmare on Elm Street, so. I think that uh, it should be pretty good. We always try to manage expectations, but I think it should be pretty good since it's stood the test of time. It's still talked about to this day. Yeah. So I think uh, we well, should probably I think probably they just it. made a new one too. Yeah, you're right. I, I think, think they I brought that. Courtney Cox back for it. Oh, did they? I think so. Oh, that's good. interesting. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Whoa. That's loud. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, Drew Barrymore. Yes? Who is this? Mm, who are you trying to reach? Well, I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think he expected it to go that way. Uh, hello? I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, well, so why'd you dial it again? To apologize. Bye now. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't hang up. What? Bye now. I'll talk to you for a second. They've got 900 numbers for that. See ya. Oh, <laughs> call again. Uh, hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Oh my goodness. Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. Uh, I don't think so. What's that noise? <laughs> but she just keeps talking to him. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. What? Oh. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. Halloween. We know you know that one. The one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters. What? Yeah. Spoilers! What's yours? Guess. Nightmare on Elm Street. What? Is that the one where the guy had knives for fingers? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. I like that movie. It was scary. She should not be indulging him. Yeah, this is very weird. Do you have a boyfriend? Mm, no. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. <gasps> oh. I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. What do you think I said? I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. <laughs> She's already indulged way too long. Yeah. Look, Shit. I'm not talking. She gonna answer again? Yes. I told you not to hang up on me. What do you want? To talk. Well, dial someone else, okay? Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch! Oh. You hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish, understand? Is this some kind of joke? More of a game, really. Bloody. He identified her hair color. <laughs> Can you see me? I think he's in the house. I am two seconds away from calling the police. They'd never make it in time. We're out in the middle of nowhere. What do you want? To see what your insides look like. Oh, oh crap. It's all turned so oh. fast. Who's there? I mean, I would have called the police at least like now. Yeah. I'm calling the police. There you go. Ah! Oh. You should never say who's there. Don't you watch scary movies? It's a death wish. You better just leave or else. Or else what? Or else my boyfriend will be here any second and he'll be- You just said you didn't have one. I thought you didn't have a boyfriend. Yeah. I lied. I do have a boyfriend and he'll be here any second so your ass better be cool. Sure. He's big and he plays football <laughs> and he'll kick the shit out of you. And we're going to go make out in my room filled with guns. <laughs> yeah. Turn on the patio lights. <laughs> Again. Oh. <Aww. laughs> Yeah, what, are we, what are we doing here? Name the killer in Halloween. We know that one. We know it. He had a white mask. He stalked the baby 
on. You don't know. Steve's counting on you. I know, I'd be able to save your life. Yeah, I know the answer. Yes. Now for the real question. Okay, here we go. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! 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 Jason Voorhees. I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. Jason's no, mom. Not. Mrs. Voorhees. Listen, it was Jason. I saw that movie 20 goddamn times. <laughs> then you should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. I'm oh. so glad we watched this yeah. after those other movies. <laughs> he didn't clarify which Friday the 13th. Lucky for you, there's a bonus round. <gasps> yes. Poor Steve. I'm afraid he's out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what happened to him? Is he dying? Wait, what? Is this guy a magician? Can magician? We're not finished yet. Final question: What door am I at? Your call. <laughs> oh, the popcorn! Honestly, maybe not a bad idea. Let the smoke alarms go off. Firefighters come. Might take him a while. Oh. Run, 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 go, go, go. Definitely toss the phone. Oh. Who is that? Oh! oh. Phone to the dome. Good thing she did keep the phone. Ah! <laughs> oh god. Ooh. Ooh. All shot. Oh, she's still going even though she's been stabbed. Oh, she can't yell after being choked. But also, is that her parent? Oh. Jesus. <clears throat> oh. Not gonna let oh, us see no, that early. I'm gonna get to see. <laughs> Casey. on the phone. Oh my god, I can hear that! That's really sad. Drive down to the Mackenzie's. No, no, my daughter. Let's go. No, my daughter. Call the police. Oh. That was really disturbing. Dang, he strung her up quick. For her parents to find? Jesus. Jesus. What's going on in there? <laughs> Are you okay? Can you knock? I heard screaming. No, you didn't. <laughs> Oh, well. I'm getting a sack. My flight leaves first thing in the morning. I won't be back till Sunday. Oh. Have a good trip, okay? Sleep tight, sweetie. So she's gonna be home alone? Yeah. Oh, close call. Wait, <laughs> what are you doing here? No, I was home watching television. The, uh, the Exorcist was on. Ooh, The Exorcist. Hmm. Well, two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. Nice, solid R rating on our way to an NC-17. <laughs> and how... Things have changed, and lately we're just sort of edited for television. You thought you would climb my window and we'd have a little raw footage? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't dream of breaking your underwear rule. Underwear rule? I thought maybe we could do a little on top of the clothes stuff. What? <laughs> Wait, huh? Can I see what you do to me? <laughs> you know what my dad will do to you? Yeah. You know, I, I appreciate the romantic gesture. About the uh, the sex stuff. No, I'm not trying to rush you at all. <laughs> I 
I was only half serious. That's <laughs> all he cares I was about. I only half serious. I'm not trying to rush you, okay? You know that. But when's the underwear rule coming when's, out of the When's the yeah. lift of the underwear yeah. embargo? You settle for a PG-13 relationship? What's that? <laughs> What's that? What the heck? <laughs> Authorities have yet to issue a statement, but our sources oh. tell us that no arrest has been made in the murder of Cook. Oh, so it is. is. I thought she'd be like one of the teenagers I getting too. killed. I guess she was older than that. Although these teens all look way older than teens. Yeah, they do. Becker, she sits next to me in English. Not anymore. It's so sad. Jesus. Mom and Dad I found her hanging from a tree. Her insides on the outside. Oh my God. I mean, Dua was saying this is the worst crime they've seen in years. Even worse than. Well, it's bad. Worse than what? Nope, that's where Casey sat. Sydney, it would appear to be your turn. Hi, Sydney. Sheriff Burke, Dewey. Uh, that's Deputy Riley. Too. Hey, he's in this. The police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? I see touching like that. Sydney, were you very uh, close to Casey back? Remember, your principal loves you, and I want you to be safe. Well, they asked me if I knew Casey. Oh, yeah, they asked me. That. Hey, they asked you if you liked to hunt? Why would they ask you if you liked to hunt? Because their bodies were gutted. Yeah, Casey and Steve were completely hollowed out. And the fact is, it takes a man to do something like that. How do you gut someone? <laughs> you take a knife. Fire it. And you slit them from groin to sternum. Hey, uh, huh? It's called tact, you f Greg. Hey, Stu, didn't you used to date Casey? Yeah, for like two seconds. Ooh, he looks guilty. Yeah, I would definitely go tell the police about these guys. And are the police aware that you dated the victim? Hey, what are you saying? That, that I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. Stu was with me last night, okay? Yeah, it was. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. Nobody said you did. Ooh, that's a good point. He's looking sketchy. It would be too easy. That is kind of sketchy, though. He's like... It's like, I didn't kill anybody. It's like, nobody said you did. <laughs> Immediate red flag. After he already described how you would gut somebody and then yeah. he dated her and she left him for another guy. You okay? Uh -huh. That house is sick. It's, just, it's really cool. You know, cool. the police and reporters and everything, it's like deja vu Look at that. over again. That's beautiful. I'll be there by seven. Why are we getting Ooh, spooky? Wait, what was with that impact sound effect? <laughs> the bodies of 17-year-old Casey Becker and her 18-year-old boyfriend, Stephen Orth, were discovered late last night by the girl's parents. The Woodsboro double murder case. It's everywhere. Yeah, she can't avoid it. Although this is not the first time this small community of Woodsboro has endured such tragedy. Yeah. Only a year ago, Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, was found and murdered not far from this peaceful town square. Is that her mom? Her dad left and her it's like, oh, she's just home she's alone. alone. Yep, I bet you're right. There you go. Yep. Damn, so she suffered a real tragedy. Hello? Back to Shrine Lane. I'm on my way, okay? It's past seven. Don't worry. Casey and Steve didn't bite it till way after ten. <laughs> Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Ah, uh, he's oh. coming for her now. I figured that would happen, but not this fast. Hi, who is this? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. Randy, you gave yourself away. Are you calling from work because Tatum's on her way over? Do you like scary movies, Sydney? Oh, come on, you know I don't watch that shit. Why not? Too scared. They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's That's so right. <laughs> I love that analysis. So, who are you? The question isn't, who am I? The question is, where? Where <gasps> am I? So skeevy, like... Your front porch. Uh-oh. Well, I call your bluff. She looks like she's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, too, especially based on the view. Can you see me right now? Ah, uh, what am I doing? Huh? Like you're being disgusting. Yeah. 
Nice try, Randy. Tell Tatum to hurry up, okay? Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. <gasps> oh. F*** you, you creep. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect them to show up that fast. I did not think this was going to be going down this fast. <laughs> oh. No! Oh, she's running up the stairs. Oh, she's doing exactly what she said. She couldn't get out the front door because she locked it, I guess. She's gone for the back door. Oh, she can make phone calls from the computer. What? 1996? What the hell? Billy! Door's locked. I heard screaming. You all right? The killer's here. He's in the house. He's gone. It's okay, he's being real weird. Why does he look so sketchy? But it can't be him. There's no way he could have went around that fast, right? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 Yeah, how would he have done that so fast? Oh my god. Do you wish to give up your right to remain silent? I didn't do anything. What the hell? I guess, yeah, he was there and then they found the mask. Call my dad. Please call him. He'll tell you. Just call him. Sydney! I mean, how would he have gotten that? stuff off and then gone all the way around that fast. Right, he would have to be the Tasmanian devil. Sydney! Mm -hmm. God said, I'm so sorry I was late. Are you all right? Tatum, you can't be here. There's official crime scene. It's okay. Right there. Creepy, huh? Creepy, huh? Yeah, why was he acting that way? He's like, it's okay, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, that is a weird reaction. It's like, he was acting weird, but also it's like, how would he have done yeah. that? So it's- Sydney, is that you in there? Prescott, they took away. I'm not talking to you. Can you tell me anything? Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. Dang. Mm -hmm. I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight, but when I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat tub of lard ass now. Jesus. Holy shit, she is horrible. She's an asshole. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? Huh? Everybody's got one, Sheriff. Well, why don't you check the phone bill, for Christ's sake? Call Vital Phone Comp. They got the records of every number dialed. Well, thanks, Hank. We're on top of it. Yeah, I was wondering if yeah. you had access to that back then. Sheriff, I didn't kill anybody. We're going to have to hold you, son, until we get those phone records. I wonder if people are still going to get killed while he's away. We sell this costume every five and dime in the state. There's no way to track the purchase. What about that cellular phone bill? Well, we're pulling Loomis's account. We won't know anything until the morning. God damn it, Dewey. Well, what did Mama tell you? When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. Yeah, oh, sorry, that's Dewey, right. Dewey boy, but we're ready to go now, okay? Oh, poor Dewey. Take him out the back way, avoid that circus. Out there. <laughs> Isn't there a back way out of this place? Yeah. Oh, man. In the alley, I think. Oh, no. Definitely a good uh, reporter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't make it sound. Unfortunately for the kids. <laughs> yeah. There she is. Oh. Sydney. She's not answering any questions, all right? Just leave us alone. No, no, Tatum, it's okay. She's just doing her job, right, Kim? Yes, that's right. How's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh, I'll look for it. I'll oh. send you a copy. Oh! oh. oh. Damn! Nice shot. Nice shot. Where'd you learn to punch like that? God, I loved it. I'll send you a copy. Bam! Bitch went down. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch went down. I'll be right next door. Try to get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you really think Billy did it? He was there, Tatum. He was there last night. Telephone, honey. Who is it? It's for Sid. It's gonna be the killer. Oh, that'd be crazy. Hello? Hello, Sydney. Yup. No! Poor Billy boyfriend. An innocent guy doesn't stand a chance with you. Looks like you fingered the wrong guy Wait. again. Again. Must have been with her mom. What? <laughs> She's, She's just got swinging his gun. that gun around. Hello. 
Oh my gosh, I've <laughs> never heard this music anywhere but Peaky Blinders. So how does it feel to be almost brutally butchered? Hey, hey now leave her alone. People want to know, they have a right to know. <laughs> how does it feel? <laughs> they have a right to know. How does it feel to almost be brutally butchered? <laughs> Just a sec. Oh, she's confronting her. Stop right there. I'm not here to fight, I just need to talk. Kenny, camera, now. <laughs> you owe me. I owe you shit. You owe my mother. Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Somebody was gonna write a book about it. Right, and it had to be you with all your lies and bullshit theories. What is your problem? You got what you wanted, Cotton Weary's in jail, they're gonna gas him. Except it probably wasn't him. Yeah, it's a situation. He's innocent? Your testimony put him away, it doesn't really matter what I think. I think you falsely identified him, yes. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. And has his story changed? Not one word. He admits to having sex with your mother, but that's all. He's lying. She never would have touched him. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. I saw him leave wearing it. No, you saw someone leave wearing that coat. Mm -hmm. The same oh. someone who planted it in Cotton's car, framing him. Dang. I bet she's right. Cotton murdered my mother. You're not so sure anymore, are you? Nope. The killer's still on the loose, isn't he? Come on, Sid. Those murders are related. An innocent man on death row. A killer still on the loose. Kenny, tell me I'm dreaming. You want to go live? No, no, no. <laughs> not so fast. We don't have anything concrete. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> <laughs> Set for one moment, she sounds decent, and yeah. then it's all about the money. Oh. That, that would actually is... be so terrifying. Sydney! John! Oh. Oh. Jeez. You still think it's me? No, I, I don't. It's just somebody was there. No, the cops said I scared him away. You know, it wasn't me, Sid. He called me again last night at Tatum's house. You see? Couldn't have been me. I was in jail. Why is he so sketchy, though? Yeah. He is sketchy. He might just be weird. <laughs> Friend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me. Oh, Billy, I was attacked and nearly filleted last night. I mean, between us. <laughs> okay, you haven't been the same since since your mother died. Is your brain leaking? My mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this up. I know, it's been a year. What? Who cares? I know what. I think it's time you got over that. I mean, oh! when my mom left my dad, I accepted it. That's not the same. She's not coming back. This is not the same thing. Your mom left town. She's not lying in a coffin somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. She wasn't brutally murdered. It's a bad analogy. Yeah. Screw this guy. Dang. Stupid. Yeah, you're an idiot. Your entire habit-inducing, thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. Oh. <laughs> Two of your fellow students just savagely murdered. And this is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? You're both expelled. Get out. Oh, spell. Fairness would be to rip your insides out. Hang you from a tree so we can expose you for the heartless, desensitized little shits that you are. Is he the murderer? <laughs> he might be. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. Why would she lie about it? For attention. Jeez. Then you can't catch a break. What if she did it? Maybe she had the hots for Steve and killed them both in a jealous rage. In a jealous rage. Maybe she's a slut, <gasps> just like her mother. Oh! oh. Wait, it's a common fact. Her mother was a tramp. Her mother's death leaves her disturbed and hostile Holy. in a cruel and inhumane world. She's delusional. Where do you get this shit? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> she's just listening to the whole thing. Is someone in there with her? Oh gosh. Bathroom floor? Ew. I know. That's worse than uh, this killer. <laughs> yeah. Put your hands on the yeah. dirty bathroom floor. <gasps> Run! Get out! Get out! Get out! Ah! Dang. In what appears to be a prank, several students were seen wearing scary masks. School officials have yet to comment, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. Was that a prank? Is there a problem on campus? No, everything's under control. 
Well, of course, you're here. Oh, oh no. She's going to manipulate him. Yeah. He was very easily manipulated. You look awfully young to be a police officer. Oh, God. Oh, I'm 25 years old. That's right. You know, in a demographic study, I proved to be most popular amongst males 11 to 24. I guess I just missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Does the force require you to work out? No, ma'am. Excuse me? Due to the recent events that have occurred, effective immediately, all classes are suspended until further notice. Woo! The Woodsboro Police Department has issued a citywide curfew beginning at 9 o'clock tonight. Oh. Citywide curfew? <laughs> it's like good news, bad news. Have you located Sydney's father yet? No, not yet. Well, he's not a suspect, is he? If you'll excuse me. I'm sorry, am I keeping you? God, she's pushy. I oh, know. Gotta be in that job. Darling, I don't know what you did, Sydney, but on behalf of the entire student body, we all say thank you! <laughs> Prom to party tonight. My house. Celebrate this little siesta. What do you say? Where the heck's Billy? I don't trust him still, even though he's clean. <gasps> is that the principal? Yeah. He's just being goofy while he's alone, I think. Well, okay. <laughs> That's weird. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang, this guy's a speedster. Bill, if it was Billy, he was really fast. Could have been a different phone. Uh huh. Those quick feet just there make, make me think of Billy as a suspect Shit. again. You call me? Oh, is he wearing a Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Keeps, Keeps getting, getting scared by, by mirrors. place is back tonight, man. We had a run in the mass murder section. Oh, now that's in poor taste. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? <laughs> he didn't do anything. You're such a little lap dog. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. Oh, he thinks he did it? Why the cops let him go, smart guy? This is standard horror movie stuff. Prom night revisited, man. What's his reason? Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. Oh, that is true. Now that Billy tried to mutilate her, do you think Sid would go out with me? Oh, oh what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> all these kids are so no, weird. Yeah, they don't at all. No. That's <laughs> <laughs> so rude. You know, I think it's her father. <laughs> Why can't they find her pops? Man? That's weird. Because he's probably dead. <gasps> His body will come popping up in the last reel somewhere. Fingers cut off, teeth knocked out. You're talking real loud about this. Yeah. If they'd watch prom night, they'd save time. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Everybody's a suspect. <laughs> there we go. I was wondering for everybody to hear him. <laughs> you, the dad's a red herring. It's Billy. Oh. How do we know you're not the killer? Maybe your movie freaked mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? <laughs> This were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. <laughs> That's right. What would be your motive? It's the millennium. Motives are incidental. Millennium. Hmm. Good kid. Millennium. Good word, my man. Billy's you sketchy. Tell me that's not a killer. Billy's right, you know. Whenever he touches me, I just can't relax. Billy and his penis don't serve me, right? That's right. <gasps> He's just in the store? Yeah, what? Nobody else saw him? Billy, where the hell you been? I was keeping an eye on Sydney. Uh, <laughs> He's got an <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> thought you quit. I did, but damn it. He's all stressed out from these murders. Yeah. Vital phone just faxed us. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Sydney's father. Well, there's no way a cellular could have been cloned. Guess what tomorrow is. The anniversary of his wife's death. Oh. I don't think it's her dad, though. That'd be too easy. Yeah, the way that they would have just revealed that was just too, like, oh, by the way, the calls. Like, there'd have to be a grand reveal. All right, you girls have fun. Not too much fun or I'll bust you. <laughs> First, I feel like a party would be a bad idea, but, like, there would be so many witnesses around that the... How would the killer... That's a good point. ...get away with it? Yeah. 
But also, what if it's like you get drunk and then you like go outside and then you're like by yourself or like with two people and then two people just die outside. Yeah, you're pissing in the bushes. Yeah. I don't think so. I get the camera. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, <laughs> you started Dewey. an obsession. You just never know when or where a story will break. I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. <laughs> Could he be the killer? Are Do we? we? Just, yeah, have we? That's what I was him? thinking a little bit. Terror train. Prom night. How come Jamie Lee Curtis is in all of these movies? Oh, is she? She's the scream queen. Tits. See? Dewey. What is she doing here? She's with me. Oh, God. I just think you're awesome. Oh, thank you very much. I watch your show religiously. <laughs> my God. Your show? Kids. It's a news station. Have you found my father? I'm afraid not. Should I be worried? Oh, slick. Where is she going by herself? See, this is the situation. Oh. Oh, a, a kitty! kitty. <laughs> it's always a kitty. It's always it? a kitty. Oh. You would be locked. Hello? Okay. Oh. oh. So dangerous. Oh! <gasps> oh! Why does that look like a different- Is that you, Randy? Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Oh. Cut, Casper. That's rap. <laughs> Cut, Casper. Oh. Randy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Oof. Now that's where you panic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. She just didn't really seem that scared. No. Oh, God. This movie's been kind of like more goofy. Yeah, there are some def definitely there's some goofy moments. Oh no. Oh, now she's scared. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but the door opens for him. Yeah, what? Yeah. Do you know where she is? No, I haven't seen her. Where's Billy? There he is. Oh. I was hoping I could talk to Sid alone. You know, if Tatum sees you here, she'll draw blood. Why don't you guys go up to my parents' room? You know, you guys can talk. Whatever. It's him. Gotta be Billy. Look at him. <laughs> You're a genius. I got a delay. How long is it? I don't know. What'd it take you to walk from the house? 30 seconds? Has a cheesy tabloid journalist ever won the Pulitzer? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been selfish. No. Billy, I'm Billy's sketchy. The one who's been selfish and... You've been selfish? selfish. What do you mean? With all this. You've been selfishly like, grieving your mother. I can't wallow in, in the grief process <laughs> forever. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs when... She keeps having flashbacks of her dead father. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, but also, why is he bringing up scary movies? That's like it's all a movie. It's all what the killer always does is mm -hmm. one great big movie. Oh, Billy sketchy. Girl, please don't do this. Even if he's not the killer, he sucks. I know he does. That's why I think they're trying to make it seem like he's the killer, because he is being so sketchy. Why can't I? Even a good porno. What? What? Mm -hmm. You hurt me. Are you sure? Yeah. I think so. What? Oh, the blood is all wrong. Why do they do that? It's too red. Wait. 
Oh, oh. Yes. That's Halloween one. Don't want to see Jamie Lee's breast. When do yes. we see Jamie yes. Lee's You never breast? do. Breast? You never do. Not until trading places in 83. She never showed her tits till she went legit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she always outsmarted the killer in the big chase scene at the end. Only virgins can do that. Don't you know the rules? <laughs> Sydney's a virgin right now, right? Yeah, well. She's the only one that can outsmart the killer, so she's, she's about to get killed then very shortly. Yeah. to abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. Number one. You can never have sex. <gasps> That's a good point. Sex equals death. Yeah. yeah. Number two, you can never drink or do drugs. Oh, well, you're drinking too, so you're done. And number three, never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, you want one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Only virgins can outsmart the killer in a big chasing at the end. Don't you know? You don't know the rules! Boring. <laughs> What's it doing? The sheriff just radioed. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. Care to join me? Where was Dewey at, though? If you're sure it's all right. I'm the deputy of this town. Oh, yes he is. Honestly, it's I'm between Dewey and Billy right now. Yeah, I think it's one of those two. Because every time this uh, ghost face comes popping up, they're nowhere to be yeah, found. Yeah, they're never in the same room. Maybe we'd walk. Oh. Such a nice night out. Got a flashlight. You're not scared, are you? No. <laughs> well, you should be, because Dewey might be a killer. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? The Halloween music going. They found Principal Henry dead. What? He was gutted and hung that? from the goalpost oh, yeah, on the football field. So what are we waiting for? Let's go over there before they pry him down! The hell? Make sure I'm coming fast. Slow down! Freeze! Go! Jeez! Oh, shit. <laughs> they waited a long time to get out of the road. They really Ooh. did. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. He's really going all the way for this. I'm sorry. I'm on duty. <laughs> is that what you're looking for? Damn. What? What is it? This is Neil Prescott's car. Sydney's father? Yeah. Oh my god. Did she go all the way? Did she okay. do it? I think she did. Yeah. Who'd you call? What? I don't know. When you're arrested, you're allowed one phone call. So I was just curious. Who'd you call? I called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. <gasps> but how would he make that voice? From a when I called, I didn't get an answer. No. You don't still think it was me, do you? <laughs> I do. But also, I think it's Dewey. I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. You know, using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. It's all. <laughs> what do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Maybe stop looking at her like that. Huh? Okay, it can't be him. It's not oh Billy. God. Sydney. Billy, watch out! Oh, <gasps> oh got him. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> Go out the front door. Oh. oh! Dang. You sound like a normal person there. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely try and open that window though, yeah. because it looks like you could make that. Go, 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 go! Ah! Oh, God. Ooh, oh, 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 that could have been so much worse. She's gonna see her friend. Is there a friend right there? Yeah. Please go. I know it's horrible, but please go. No, James. Uh, <laughs> watch out. Watch out, Jamie. You know he's around. Oh, oh <laughs> there he is. I told you. I told you. Right With the music? There. Look behind you. Look behind you. Oh me. my gosh. I'll turn him. <laughs> behind you. Behind you, James. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
Go, go, go. There's a delay. He's already dead. What? Oh, 30 second delay. Please go. Oh! oh. oh, oh we got, got her. her. Where's the other guy at? Oh, the, oh, the, the one that's shaggy. throwing the party. Yeah. Oh, there's Dewey. Okay, Can't it's not Dewey. Dewey. Lock yourself in it. Call the sheriff for backup. Neil? It's really creepy with Halloween playing yeah. in the background. Down, down. 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 I'm glad we watched those movies before this, because now we know. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We've been getting spoiled. Kenny! Oh, where'd his body go? Yeah, where'd his body go? Yeah. Let's go! Oh! 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 What was that? What? Oh my god. Ew. Oh, there he is. Get off my f***ing with you! Uh, that's your friend, ma'am. Well, I guess I wouldn't say friend. She's kind of mean to him. Oh, shit. Sydney? Oh, oh no. Dude, where's your gun? He always cleans the knife. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, He's got him. Oh. He's got him. <laughs> Where'd he go? The trunk just opened. Help me, please. I'm at Stu Mocker's house on Turner Lane. It's 261. Turner Lane, please. He's gonna try and kill me. Oh, oh my gosh. Rip off the mask. Show us who it is. Yeah, please. <laughs> what? Oh, God. And not knowing where he is is the worst. Disney, Jesus, we gotta get the fuck out of here! Stop right there! Don't shoot, it's me! I found Tam, she's dead! I think Stu did. Oh, it's him, Sydney! It's gotta be him. Yeah. He's... No, I did it! I did it, Sid! He did it! Please, Sydney, don't! Fuck you both! Please. Oh, God! What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely not that other guy. Yeah, it could have been. Because he was watching right. Halloween and having a good time. Go away! This is my house! We're like, yeah. <laughs> I've claimed this house. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he's still alive. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, that might have taken care of it. Oh, he doesn't have any stab wounds. I gotta get help. No, he's out there! No, give me the gun. Give me the gun, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Just help me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stu's flipped out. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. No! Fuck! Okay. I knew he didn't look like he got stabbed. Corn syrup. Yeah. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. Oh my god. <laughs> Surprise, Sydney. So it was both it was of them. Both of them. Wow. Why? I don't know. <laughs> What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. She just did it with him. See, we ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, you die. <laughs> you get it right. <laughs> These kids die. are so nuts. We'll never get away with this. <laughs> Huh? Tell that to Cotton Weary. Wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> no! 
Oh, oh. So they did, because that's the guy that- Yeah. Why did you kill my mother? Why? Why? I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? No. Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Don't think so. We did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a s bag whore. Flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. Damn. Oh my god, god. misery. Because let's face it, Sydney, your mother was no Sharon Stone. Is that motive enough for you? Your mother was fucking my father. Oh. oh. And she's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. How's that for a motive? Damn. Oh. Total abandonment causes serious deviant behavior. Certainly fucked you up. It made you have sex with a psychopath. <laughs> That's right. You gave it up. Now you're no longer a virgin. <laughs> that virgin. What? Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. That is the rules. It's all a scary movie, say. How do you think it's gonna end? <sighs> oh! Oh, this is the greatest part! Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. That'd be so obnoxious. Yeah. Even after knowing he's crazy. Where's your like... dad, though? We killed her exactly one year ago today. <laughs> Attention. Oh, he's still oh. alive. What do we have behind door number three, Sydney? Daddy. Whoa. Guess we won't be needing this anymore. Uh huh. They're framing her dad. You think about it now, huh? Your daddy's the chief suspect. We cloned his cellular. Evidence is all right there, baby. What if your father snapped? Your mother's anniversary set him off and he went on a murder spree killing everyone. Then he kills you and shoots himself in the head. Ready? Yeah. Yeah! I'm ready, baby! Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> Jeez. Don't forget, stay to the side and don't go too deep. I remember. Ah! What the hell they are, are these kids all full about? Full-blown crazy. Give me the knife. Oh. Give me the knife! Oh, they're losing their mind. They're gonna turn on each other. You see, Sid, everybody dies but us. Everybody dies but us. We're gonna carry on and plan the sequel, because let's face it, baby, these days, yeah. you gotta have He's a sequel. He's psycho. Ah! Yeah. Ah! I've seen one too many movies. Nah, Sid! Don't you blame the movies! Movies don't create psychos! Movies make psychos more creative! Ah! I'm feeling woozy here! <laughs> what the hell? Um, uh, Houston, we, we have a problem here. The guy that put her right there is not there. Where the fuck is it? Right here, asshole. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh! She was dead. She looked dead, man. She's dead. dead. I've got an ending for you. The reporter left for dead in the news van comes to, finds the gun, foils your plan, and saves the day. Last time. I like that ending. I know something you don't. Just do it. Oh. There's no bullets. Okay. Ah! Oh, that could have worked out so well. Works better without the safety on. Oh. oh, the safety was on. Uh, where's she at? Shit. Oh, uh, Billy. What? No, oh, both oh, of them. Both are gone. <coughs> I don't know, Billy, but I'm hurt, man. Fuck. <gasps> Hello? Are you alone in the house? Uh -huh. oh. Bitch. You bitch, where the f are you? Not so fast. We're gonna play a little game. It's called Guess Who Just Called the Police and Reporting You. Sorry, mother f ass. Find you, you dipshit! Get up! I can't, Billy. Oh, you caught me too deep. I think I'm dying here, man. What the f? Hello? <laughs> oh, Stu, Stu, Stu. What is What's your motive? Billy's got one. The police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? Peer pressure. <laughs> I'm gonna rip you up, you bitch! Just like your mother! You've gotta find me first, you pansy ass mama's boy! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hit me with a phone, dick! <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you really call the police? <laughs> You're sorry, ass I can. My mom and dad are gonna be so mad at me! <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's still playing in the background. Yeah. It's still going. <laughs> oh! Why would she be wearing that? <laughs> Oh, 
just stab his wounds with your yeah. fingers. I always had a thing for you, Sid. In your dreams. <laughs> Careful. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, Randy, I thought you were dead. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Punched in the face right after delivering that line. Say hello to your mother. Oh. Ah! There we oh, go! No. <laughs> ah! Nice. Guess I remember the safety that time, you bastard. <laughs> Where's your dad at? Careful. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. That's True. right. <laughs> One last scare. Yep. There it is. Not in my movie. Oh. Dad. <laughs> Are you okay? Hang in there, buddy. Huey! Right. Okay, I think it's gonna go something like this. <laughs> Do you say, where's Gail? Hi, this Still is Gail in the news. with an exclusive yeah. eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. Several more local teens are dead, bringing to an end the harrowing mystery of the mass killings that has terrified this peaceful community like the plot of some scary movie. Come on, move it. This is my big shot. Let's go. This is my big shot. Let's go. Oh. Oh. So, how did you like Scream? I found that really enjoyable. I thought that the plot was pretty interesting and that big reveal at the end that it was the two guys because we did suspect that it could have been one of those two or one of a few different people, but I never thought that they it was going to so be- They were just so sketchy. Yeah, they definitely were being sketchy, but I didn't think it was going to end up being two people working together. Yeah, I started thinking it was going to be Dewey. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too for a while there. Yeah, I really liked how um, they paced everything too. Um, there were a few moments in the beginning where I thought that they revealed a lot of things too quickly, but then as the movie progressed, I was like, okay, it actually kind of makes sense that they would show the killer and this and that yeah. um, early on because then you kind of have a better idea of what's going on based on how the movie was going. And I also liked that it was really meta with all of the you know, horror movie references yeah. and they're talking about like, oh, well, in a horror movie, this is how it would go when we're actually watching a horror yeah. movie. What did you think? I thought it was good. I couldn't tell if this was supposed to be like, a goofy movie that's making fun of <laughs> horror movies or not? I think it was supposed to be like that, like a little bit. I think yeah. it was supposed to be a mild thing, but I don't know if it was supposed to be like really obvious. Like, like, a, like I don't think it was supposed to be an outright parody. Yeah, like I don't think it, it's like an outright parody, but it was kind of like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like the, it definitely... Because they do like directly reference those old slasher movies, like the ones that we had just watched on the channel, like Halloween, Friday the 13th. But they're also being like goofy. Like, I don't know what that one guy's name was. Uh, he When he was like on the phone there at the end, and he's like making jokes and like, obviously he was crazy, but yeah, it was, it was so, it was very weird. Yeah, it did feel like kind of slapstick it was not, in a few moments. Yeah, it was not as serious as like Halloween or, mm -hmm. Like those movies were kind of goofy just because of the time that they were in, but they weren't meant to be goofy. Right. This kind of seemed like it was meant to be goofy mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, I liked it. It was it was different. I did not think it was going to be like that. Mm -hmm. And I also thought, I guess Courtney Cox was kind of kind of one of the main people, but I thought she was going to be like you said. Like the main girl. Yeah, in it. I, I kind of had that idea going into it. I guess just because I knew she was in it, so yeah. I figure that somebody, like one of the actors, I was able to identify before actually knowing really much about it at all. I would think that, but yeah. I'm curious then how they're going into like Scream Two and stuff because I'm pretty sure there's like multiple of these. Yeah, I know that there's at least minimum three, probably even more. I'm I think not there's totally like sure, eight though. of them. Yeah, there, I was I was gonna say that I knew there had I to be think. at least three, but it could go way past that for all I know. I don't know, actually, maybe I shouldn't say eight. Maybe there's only like four or something, I don't know. But... I don't know, but yeah, I yeah, wonder how... how they do the plot in the future ones. Yeah. Like the killers in this one are dead. 
And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if um, the same actors are going to be in the upcoming ones. Like, I know you said that Courtney Cox was pretty sure for she's the, in the newest one, one. But... yeah, because I remember seeing her like older in the trailers for it. I don't know how that's going to be because she was the news anchor, and not even the main main chick. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to check them out. So we'll yeah. we'll learn eventually. I guess so. Yeah. Well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you have not already, please give this video a like because it helps us out so much and subscribe if you're new and check out the links in the description if you'd like to see more from us because we both have our own individual YouTube channels and Twitch streams linked down there. And we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.